What's going on guys, Tyler here, and today we're talking about how to host a file for download from your website. This is going to be using the Elementor Free or the Elementor Pro plugin, which is a web page builder for WordPress, as well as another plugin that I'll go ahead and show you here in this video. This is the easiest method that I've found, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. All right, guys, so like I said, this will be for element or free version as well as the pro version. But if at any time you're interested in upgrading to the pro version, be sure and check out the link down below in the description because I have a link to element or pro there and just check and see what kind of price you can get for element or pro. It's an incredible plugin, an amazing web page builder, and the pro version just brings in so many unique features. I absolutely love the product. So be sure and check that out down below. But for now, let's go ahead and start making some downloads. All right, guys, so a great example of when you might want to use this is when maybe a user subscribes to your newsletter or your emailing list, and you want to offer a file for them to download on the thank you page. This is an easy method to go ahead and kind of incentivize a user to go ahead and sign up for your actual email list. And it's very easily done with Elementor and this other plugin that I'll be showing you here. But basically what we're gonna do is have a user submit their email address in the form and then redirect them over to the thank you page. And on the thank you page, they're gonna have an easy way to go ahead and download that movie or PDF or audio, whatever kind of incentive you offered at the initial opt-in so this is going to be something super easy to do and let's just go ahead and jump right into my computer oh just one more thing sorry almost forgot if you're new to the channel be sure and hit that nice looking red subscribe button if you're interested in more videos just like this be sure and tap that bell notification so you can be notified of all future videos for me okay back to it all right guys, so the first step in building out our thank you page is very simple. We're just gonna go into the back end of our WordPress login and go over to plugins and hit add new. And then we're going to look for the plugin called download monitor right here, download monitor. We're gonna go ahead and install that and activate it and then we'll jump to the next step. All right, so the next step is even easier. We're just gonna go over here to where it says downloads. We're gonna go ahead and hover over it and hit add new download. So now this is gonna allow us to go ahead and upload kind of title, write a little description about our download if we want to, but go ahead and upload our actual file to our download monitor plugin. All right, guys, so what I did is just took a little screenshot of my webcam over here on the right, and uh, this is the file that I'm gonna be offering for download. So I went ahead and titled it. You'll wanna put a title in there for it so you know what the download is, and then go ahead and put in a little description. If you want, I don't even think this is required. It's probably optional. But um, what we need to do is right over here, you probably won't have this yet, but right over here you'll have an add file button. You wanna hit the add file button and this little menu will pop up right here. You can adjust the file date or the download count or version or anything else you need to adjust there. But basically what we're gonna do is go ahead and actually upload the file. So we wanna to go to upload file and this will bring up your WordPress browser. If the file's already on your site, you can go ahead and select it there. If not, you can just simply drag and drop right onto your WordPress browser and it will upload it right to your WordPress website. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna drag it from my computer onto my WordPress browser and then select it and, and choose that as the file. So well, let's come back after I've got the file uploaded. All right, so I've got the file uploaded now and I am ready to go on to the next step. So let's just go ahead and hit publish right over here. And then you can see right here, it says download published. Let's go back to all downloads here so we can see all of our downloads. All right, so here is my download right here. It's a screenshot of Tyler right here. It's got an ID and file. Uh, extension and everything like that so we can go ahead and just click on this right here and this will take us over to where we can go ahead and grab the link or the short code or whatever we would like to do with this file for this example in this tutorial I'm just gonna grab the short code because it's even easier but your whole download URL is right here if you want to copy and paste that and what's interesting and what's what is really key about this plugin is that these URLs and um, the shortcode is going to initiate a download instantaneously. So it's not even going to like 
bring up the file in a preview mode. If you're using Chrome, it won't like preview the image or anything like that. It'll actually start a download and initiate a download. So instead of actually using the short code, let's just make it easier and just use the URL. So I'm gonna just click on it here to select it and uh, Command A to highlight everything or Control A if you're on Windows and then uh, just right click and simply copy it. So we have it copied now. Let's go ahead and create our thank you page. All right, so I just added a new page here and then named the page and hit edit with Elementor. And here we are on our brand new Elementor page. So to make this very simple, all I'm gonna do is simply add a heading, add a text edit below it, text editor below it, and then let's uh, add a icon to the top. And I'll show you guys just how easy it is to style a uh, thank you page with Elementor here and then we need a button at the bottom. Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna go through this really quick. You can follow along if you'd like, but this is simply what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into the icon, hit edit. We're gonna click this. You might not have this if you're on Elementor free version, but for Elementor Pro users, it has this nice icon library. We're gonna go ahead and use a check mark. Perfect, just like that. This, we're gonna go ahead and edit and say, thank you and we'll center it and we will make it thicker here let's make it nice and thick perfect thank you and uh, maybe a little bit bigger as well perfect all right um i'm just gonna leave this here this is just kind of you know I don't really need to fill all this in for the tutorial, but for the button, let's go ahead. And this is the key right here. We'll go ahead and center it and we'll say, you know, maybe start your download. Um, you'll want to name it whatever, whatever fits your product, maybe like a download video now or or um, get your download or something like that. But let's just go ahead and put start your download right there. And then this is the key part. You wanna go ahead and set this link to the link that we've grabbed from download monitor. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that in. Um, I just use command V or control V for Windows users. It's, it's just that simple. You have it all set up and uh, I'll show you how this works. Let's go ahead and make it a medium button a little bit bigger and uh, publish this and let's go ahead and view this page. All right, so here we are loading up the page here. All right, perfect. So I will obviously want to adjust some things here. Like I don't want this title here, so I want to take that off. Um, I don't want this here, so I'll need to go ahead and edit my template so it's not displayed on this page. But basically we have our thank you page done here. So it says thank you, there's a nice little description, a nice little icon, and we can click start your download. And just like that, you see over here in the left hand corner, the download was initiated and started very easily just like that. If they have the setting enabled where they go ahead and name their file before it's downloaded as opposed to the file just being instantly downloaded, they'll just go ahead, choose the name for their file and hit download. And that's, uh, that's browser specific, but yeah, that's just how easy it is. So thank you guys. I hope this helped. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tap that like button. If this is the type of videos you like, it helps me know what type of videos you guys are looking for, as well as hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel so you can join the fam and be notified of upcoming videos just like this. Be sure and check the links down below in the description. I have quite a few links down there as well as a link to get Elementor Pro. So be sure and see what kind of price you can get for Elementor Pro, just an incredible plugin like I've already said. And uh, I also have a link down below to get some hosting. So if you haven't even set up your website yet, be sure and check that out. It might increase the speeds of your site as well as you know just offer a great hosting product for you. So thank you guys so much. Be sure and check back for future videos and we'll catch you guys later.